In this video, Haley and Justin Bieber just added a new member to their family. Selena Gomez speaks out on viral photos with Haley Bieber for the first time. Nick Carter breaks down during Aaron Carter's tribute at the Backstreet Boys concert and much more. Stick around to make sure you're all up to date. Let's go. Let's start with Haley and Justin Bieber just added a new member to their family. Haley and Justin Bieber have welcomed a new member to their growing family. The happy couple shared images of their new puppy, Piggy Lou, a York on their Instagram on Halloween. The Bieber's other dog, Oscar, who is also a Yorkie and joined the family in 2018, was also seen in some of the pictures. The Biebers were all decked out in their Halloween best, with Justin dressed up as Cookie Monster and Haley a Versace vampire, of course. The caption to the post read simply, Happy Halloween. Haley shared more pictures of Piggy Lou on her Instagram stories, which have sadly expired. But people did manage to snatch some screenshots, which show Piggy wearing a pig costume, which is exactly as cute as it sounds. Haley and Justin recently celebrated their fourth wedding anniversary. They got engaged in July of 2018, after which they secretly got married in September of the same year. They decided to have a big celebration at the Montage Palmetto Bluff in Bluffton, South Carolina in September of 2019. The couple adopted their first dog, Oscar shortly after their 2018 wedding. Does this mean that they have found some kind of tradition in getting a new dog around Halloween? Only time will tell. Next, Selena Gomez speaks out on viral videos with Hailey Bieber for the first time. It sounds like Selena Gomez wants to downplay those viral pictures of her with her ex's wife, Hailey Bieber. Gomez claimed in an interview that the pictures which were taken at the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures were not a big deal. Gomez and Hailey had fans going wild on the 15th of October, 2022, when they seemed to be hugging it out at the Starry Los Angeles event. But Gomez remains that it's not even a thing, as she was promoting her Apple TV Plus documentary, My Mind and Me. But even Tyrell Hampton, who took the surprising pictures, seemed baffled at the friendly display of the two, as he wrote Plot Twist on his Instagram account. The unexpected turn of events occurred just weeks after Haley said on her Call Her Daddy podcast that there was absolutely no drama between her and Gomez, who had an on and off again relationship with Bieber from 2010 to 2018. Haley said that there is nothing but respect between them, confirming that she and Gomez did speak with each other. She added that neither of them owes the other anything, and there are no expectations between them. She also praised her husband for closing a chapter with Gomez before they got engaged in July of 2018 and quietly got married two months later. Gomez didn't directly respond to the podcast, though she did speak out about the importance of kind words in a TikTok the following day. Next up, Nick Carter breaks down during Aaron Carter tribute at Backstreet Boys concert. Nick Carter cried during a touching tribute to Aaron Carter at a Backstreet Boys concert, which took place only a day after his little brother died. The band played No Place during the show in London, while pictures of Nick and Aaron played on the big screen. Nick was obviously emotional, and AJ McLean, Brian Luttrell, and Howie Duro hugged him as Kevin Richardson spoke to the crowd. Tonight, we've got heavy hearts because we lost one of our family members yesterday, and we just wanted to find a moment in our show to recognize him, he said. Earlier that day, Nick had posted throwback pictures of Aaron on his Instagram, sharing his broken heart with followers. It's no secret that the relationship between the Carter brothers hasn't always been easy, but Nick said that his love for Aaron had never faded. He added that he always held hope that Aaron would someday want to walk a healthy path and eventually find the help that he so desperately needed. He also said that addiction and mental illness, the real villain in his brother's passing. Aaron, who was 34 years old, was found dead in his California home on the 5th of November, 2022. He had been struggling with addiction for a long time, and many hoped that he now has the peace that he was never quite able to find in life. Aaron is survived by his 11-month-old son, Prince. Hold up, we're not done yet. Next, Rihanna explains why she and ASAP Rocky haven't shared their baby boy's name yet. Amy Schumer reveals that her son was rushed to the ER and hospitalized with RSV, and Gigi Haddad quits Twitter. Make sure to keep watching until the end of the video to find out more. Now, let's continue. First up, Rihanna explains why she and ASAP Rocky haven't shared baby boy's name yet. Rihanna has given some insight into the reason why she and ASAP Rocky have kept the name and picture of their newborn baby boy private. Rihanna gave 
gave birth some five months ago and have yet to reveal any details about the new addition to their family. We just didn't get around to it yet, really, Rihanna admitted in an interview with the Washington Post. She added that they've simply been living, though she figures that there will probably also be a kind of freedom from just getting it out there. Rihanna has managed to keep her baby out of the public eye since May of 2022, which is quite an accomplishment given the height of her celebrity status. In another interview with E! News, Rihanna remarked how she has been reminding herself of her mother, Monica Braithwaite, now that she has a little one of her own. Even the things that she finds annoying about her mother, like making the same faces and saying the same things to clearing her throat the exact same way. She wondered whether she had just never noticed before, or maybe it only started happening after she gave birth to her son. Aside from the happiness and discoveries that have come with motherhood, Rihanna says she is excited to get back to work now that she's on the other side of pregnancy. Her Savage X Fenty Volume 4 show is just around the corner, and she'll be performing at the Super Bowl in February of 2023. Following, Amy Schumer reveals that her son was rushed to the ER and hospitalized with RSV. Amy Schumer lived through the hardest week of her life as her son, Gene, was rushed to the ER and hospitalized with RSV while she had been preparing for her upcoming Saturday Night Live hosting gig. She also gave a shout out to all the parents who are going through the same right now, referencing the recent RSV surge on her Instagram. She explained how she was able to stay with her son the entire day and said that the beautiful humans at NSL couldn't have been more supportive of the emergency. Of course, she didn't forget to thank the doctors and nurses who helped them. Schumer couldn't help but gush over the most important reason why she loved being on SNL, which isn't exactly the performance itself, but getting to spend time with the people working on the show. The cast and the writers, and of course the people who are behind the scenes making it run smoothly are my favorite, the crew. Luckily, Schumer was able to bring her son back home again, and he is doing well. Jessica Seinfeld praised Schumer in the comments, saying that she's blown away by Schumer's ability to balance her life as a working mom and also being able to treat every nurse and doctor with warmth and kindness while in the midst of one of the most stressful moments of her life. Schumer is currently on a 65-date comedy tour and just recently said how brutal it is to be away from Jean. And last but not least, Gigi Haddad quits Twitter. Gigi Haddad has announced that she's stepping away from Twitter. The 27-year-old supermodel made the announcement on her Instagram, calling the platform a cesspool of hate and bigotry. The news comes shortly after Elon Musk has taken over the social media site. Haddad said she was de activating her account in the middle of the mass layoffs that are currently ongoing over at Twitter, including the human rights team, and she just doesn't want to be a part of what it is becoming. She added an apology to her fans that still remain on the platform, adding that she loved to connect with them, but she couldn't say that it was a safe place for anyone anymore, and she doesn't feel like the social platform will do more good than harm. Hidad is one of the many who have decided to leave Twitter. Shonda Rhimes, Sarah Bareilles, and Taya Leone also said their goodbyes in October of 2022. Meanwhile, Musk continues to put himself in bad light with the announcement that he's going to charge a monthly fee for the blue verification checkmark. And that's all we've got for now. What do you think of the new addition to the Bieber family? Let us know in the comments. And thanks for watching.